Hi guys, welcome back to the Criminology Podcast. My name's Ben and today I'm covering the Snowdrop campaign. The Snowdrop campaign aimed to change gun control laws and ban them from private ownership in the UK. They wanted to prevent a repeat of the Dunblane massacre in a Scottish school. The Snowdrop campaign also aimed to change the view of the British people against the idea of guns and to raise awareness of the damage that they can cause. Additionally, they aim to introduce more regulations surrounding guns and their usage by those that did need to use them, for example the police and for recreational usage such as hunting. The campaign started because on the 20th of March 1996, a local gun owner in Dunblane, Scotland, entered a school and killed 16 first graders and their teacher before committing suicide. The shooter, Thomas Hamilton, owned the guns legally and had every right to carry them wherever he pleased and in concealment. The campaign took its name from the early flower in bloom at the time, which reminds the victim's families that it is approaching the time of remembrance and mourning. The campaign was started by the community of Dunblane and a group of the victim's families. Ms Anne Pearson was one of the most prominent campaigners and was the first to sign the petition presented to Parliament in an attempt to ban guns entirely. The Snowdrop campaign used a variety of methods in order to ensure it succeeded. These included television. The campaign was highly televised and played on the radio with many debates taking place over whether people agreed with it or not. It was particularly prominent in the national news where it was broadcast almost daily, giving people insight into the current status of the campaign. MPs. MPs were asked by members of the campaign to present Snowdrop to Parliament, and later families of the victims were asked to speak in Parliament and recount the terror that the lack of gun laws caused them. Newspapers. Articles were written regarding the Snowdrop campaign, with it even making the front page on some occasions. In a very similar way to news broadcasts, the newspapers debated over whether it should be introduced and took opinions from around the country. Voting. Although the major political parties had originally said that the Dunblane massacre would not become a political issue, the general election, held in 1997, soon removed this comment and Snowdrop was publicised by both parties. The campaign aimed at Parliament was very successful and managed to change the law. In February 1997, the Firearms Amendment Act 1997 was introduced by Sir John Major of the Conservative Party. This act essentially restricted gun ownership and seriously increased the amount of checks that people had to endure before they could own a gun. Following the election and Labour win in 1997, however, a second part was introduced by Tony Blair. The campaign also raised awareness as hundreds of people around the country banded together to get the laws passed. Additionally, possession and purchase of personal handguns was made illegal and allowed the law to be built upon many times after the original amendment. While regulations were brought in, and if someone wants to own a gun now, they must have a valid reason, a license, and pass stringent security checks where even the smallest criminal record can restrict you from owning or even using a gun. Even after this, the general public are only allowed to use certain classifications of guns, and nobody is allowed to use automatic guns. That's all for the Snowdrop campaign, guys. I've been Ben, and this is the Criminology Podcast. We'll see you next time.